So as I said earlier, we, we are going to be discussing um, the effects that sugar has on your brain and how to stop it. Um, but we have some stuff before then. Wendy, if you want to share. Yeah. Will and I, Will, <laughs> Will yes, and I yes, would yes. like to uh, invite everybody here to a challenge that we're going to do. It's uh, seven days long. It's free. So that's the cool part about it. Um, you'll get a couple Zoom calls with us. Um, you're going to get a meal plan. So it's clean eating. You'll, you'll feel better. You'll lose weight. And then if you want to continue on, we can continue on with it. But uh, what you want to do is you want to write info in the comments below here, and we'll get you on the list and get you guys started. So you'll have two trainers with you. It's going to be very cool. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. So sugars. Hey, well. Abby, come on. Can you hear me? <laughs> I, I know. I'm so far advanced that most, most people are like, I don't even know what you're talking about, you know? <laughs> But seriously, you know, um, your, your brain, your brain's an organ, and uh, it gets affected just like anything else in your body, like anything that it comes in contact with, um, as far as, you know, anything you hear, anything you see, and anything you eat, including sugars, and sugar is highly addictive, manufactures doses, and music to their advantage, so you keep wanting to buy those ho-hos, you keep wanting to go to Dunkin' Donuts, keep wanting to go to the fast food places and I mean it's just it's unbelievably horrible um basically what it does when you eat uh something with sugar in it it sends a signal to your brain and it's almost like a reward like you know Pavlov's dogs they ring the bell and they come and they get a little treat um your brain goes oh I like that I like that so then it wants more so you get addicted to sugar. I mean, it's, it really is a true addiction, and it's hard to get off of it. There are side effects that, when you do come off of it. But is that, that the same chemical um, uh, called dopamine that's uh, released uh, during, like, other pleasure stuff that's uh, released in the brain? Is it actually the, the dopamine that, that's doing it, or is it something different? You know, that, that I don't know. I'll tell you the truth. I can look that up, though. Find that out for you. Okay. But um, <laughs> the problem with the sugar is they literally hide sugar in your food that you don't even know about. Um, so they'll put it in as, you know, you might say it's um, aspartame, which everyone knows is a substitute that is not only really bad for you, um, it causes, it can cause cancer. It's, it's actually, they'll tell you it's a natural thing that they do, but the process that they do it in, just like all the GMO stuff, yeah, natural may be natural, but the process that they're doing there totally destroys the food, all the nutrition and everything. And, you know, we need to be sick and tired. So, um, you know, there, there's uh, things that sugar does to your body. As soon as you eat it, you know, it, it, it hires your blood glucose levels, your insulin, um, can make you diabetic, it can cause cancers in your body. You know, so you really want to avoid having too many sugars. I mean, a little sugar is okay. I mean, you know, they always say moder in moderation, but people take in moderation as I can have it every day, like the dessert. So they'll say, oh, yes. you know, I ate my meal, I get my dessert. You know, well, great. You know, dessert does not always have to be, you know, <laughs> it, can be, it can be something healthy. <laughs> I have, I have um, desserts that I make that, you know, you you can eat them every day and they're not going to hurt you. And they also, I, I meant to bring up a, one of my trays. I actually do, like, you know about the fat bombs, right, Will? Excuse me? The, fat bombs for the keto people would use. Um, no, I'm not familiar with that. No. Okay, well, basically, it's like, um, there's different ways to make them, but it's like coconut oil, almond butter, your protein powder, you could put cocoa in it, you know, and maybe a little bit of stevia or something like that. And even like the problem with those is people either make them too big or they eat too many of them. So what I do with, and they're, they're great for treats because literally you walk into the refrigerator and you pick one up, pop it in your mouth, and it takes away that need to eat like a candy bar. You know, all the, you've got the chocolate, you've got everything. Your, your body, your brain goes, okay, I had my chocolate. I'm good. But um, what I do with them is, you know, those uh, silicone ice cream trays? Yes. I, I put my mixture in those ice cube trays, 
put them in the freezer. And of course, when the coconut oil gets cold, it hardens them like candy. And then you pop them out into, um, you know, into a dish and put them in the refrigerator. And then when you need something that you're dying, just dying to have a candy bar, you go in the refrigerator, grab one, pop it in your mouth, and you're good to go. So, I mean, it does take some training on your mind. Your mind's going to play tricks with you because it's used to eating sugar. Um, there, but the problem, you know, like I said, with the, if you don't know your labels, if you don't know how to read them, there's all kinds of different names for sugars. I'll put a link for the name of sugars below. Um, you know, you, you've got your agave, your aspartame, your, your brown rice syrup, high fructose corn syrup, maltodextrins, horrible, horrible, horrible things these do to your body. And then you've got the OSEs. I always train my people, if you see OSE on a label, just don't buy it. You, you know, you got your, your fructose, your dextrose, your glucose. It's just another fancy thing for sugar. And people seem to think that, you know, oh, you know, it's an OSE, fructose. Fructose is fine, right? You know, just like you go and you have your glass of orange juice in the morning. You say, say, if you go out to eat somewhere and you say you want orange juice and they bring you, you know, your glass of orange juice. And some people have seen, you know, drink two of them. And it's fructose, right? No big deal. Have you ever squeezed an orange? One orange, you'll get about yes. this much in a glass, if that. You know, so you're drinking 12 oranges. That's a, that's a lot of sugar. So, right. yeah, yeah. It, it's, you know, people don't realize what they're doing. And then when you get into the things like the uh, um, artificial sweeteners, like uh, the... Um, you know, the aspartame and you've got the sorbitol. I don't know if you ever heard of that before. That's in a lot of diet candies. Okay, I haven't. Yeah, that, that's also a laxative. So if you eat enough of that, you're going to spend a lot of time in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so to get off of it, though, what you need to do, what you really need to do, is, you know, it is an addiction, so you are going to have to work at it. Um. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the names of the sugars below. I'll, I'll get you guys some recipes to put below too. I'm also compiling a lot of my uh, my protein bar and protein ball recipes into a list that I can get you guys too. You make those, you put them in your refrigerator. I mean, just today I sent my husband out the door with four of the little candies because he was just like looking in the refrigerator for something. I'm like, what do you want? And I knew what he wanted. And I'm like, okay, here, pop them in a bag. And I said, here, take these with you, eat them in the car. You know, because I know and he works at Coca-Cola. I know what he's going to do. He's going to go to Coca-Cola and he's going to drink a Coke and go to the vending machine and get a candy bar. So this way, you know, now now he's taken care of. He's going to go to work and he'll drink his water and he'll be fine. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. So something interesting that, uh, I actually told you earlier that I thought agave was a um, a healthy form of uh, sugar, like a healthy alternative, but actually it's not. Um, it's sugar. <laughs> yeah, it's not sugar. Um, you know, it's, yeah. it's like even, you know, I, I'll tell my people if they want, you know, maple syrup, pure maple syrup, not log cabin syrup, but pure maple syrup. Um, grade B is better than the grade A, and because it comes from the tree, you're getting some of the the minerals and stuff like that from the tree. Okay. But um, I mean, it's it's, it's all sugar. Even with that, I tell them use it sparingly. You know, it's it's sugar does things to your body that you don't want to have later on in life. So, yeah. Uh, does it uh also read that it uh also feeds cancer? Sugar does. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it cancer lives off of sugars, and cancer also lives off of acidic bodies. If your body's alkaline and where it should be, you shouldn't be getting cancer. If you eat a lot of sugars, it makes your body acidic, and there you go. Next thing you know, you're sick. So that's why they always say, like, you know, people die. They didn't die from diabetes. They died from you know, complications from diabetes, because it's always something that's related to the sugars, the insulin, you know, eating away at either their heart, their, you know, their uh, capillaries and their, their vessels, you know, so they end up, you know, getting amputations, um, heart attacks, strokes are huge for diabetics, you know, 
ki all kinds of cancers. So you, you really want to, I mean, unless you want to live that kind of life, I mean, there, there are people that just don't care. But personally, you know, I don't want to spend all my time, money, and life in the hospital. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Eat clean, train mean. <laughs> what about that? I like that phrase, eat clean, train mean. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, let's see, I made some notes here. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. Do you have any questions? Anybody have, have any questions about sugar, the effects on the body, on the brain? Maybe not. If you do have any questions, if you're watching the replay, just uh, put your questions in the comment box and we'll uh, answer those questions. Can you hear me okay, Wendy? Yeah, stay away from those little pink and yellow and blue packets. They're no good for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, is there anything else you want to add? No, just I want to remind everybody, because we started it at the beginning, if they came in later in on the video and are still on here and didn't see it, we are having Will and I together. Um, a seven-day challenge. You will get a, a meal plan um, to eat off of. We're going to kind of get in your mind a little bit on there. And then, so if you want to know, right below here in the comments, type info, and we'll get you in our group and get you started. All right. Uh, we had a question from uh, Jermaine. He said, how about, uh, how about sugars from fruits? Like regular fruit? Yeah, yeah, regular fruit. Yeah, I always tell people, um, you know, when they say eat like, a, eat like a bird, and they mean seeds and berries, not little amounts. Um, like apples, bananas are huge. Like when I use a banana, if I use a banana, I use a half a banana. I mean, okay. it's full of sugar. You you still have to count it in as your sugars. Doesn't matter what it is. Berries are better than like you know bananas, citrus, or you know. Any of the other um, the fruits like that. I, mean, I love pineapple, but I have to limit it, you know. It's so cheap nowadays, too. Oh, geez. I had it on the grill yesterday, and I'm like, okay, I can have this slice on Tuesday, and this slice, you know. So you really you have to count it in as a sugar. It's in the count. <laughs> Glenn Wood said it's a, it's a hell of a drug. It, it actually is, man. It, um, it actually is. Uh, that most people are addicted to. Yeah, and the problem with myself it, at some points. Really, the problem with it is, you know, how many times it's just like salt too. I mean, how many times have you sat down before, you know, I mean, long time since I've done this, but sat down and I, mean, I see people that are like, like Halloween's coming up, you know, and they'll, there and they'll go look through the kids' bag and there's all those little candy. Literally, I've seen people sit there and eat one, and then I'm just gonna eat one. There's another one, and another one. It does, it does your brain. Your brain says, ooh, I'm being rewarded, and you just automatically start jumping. Yes. As I say, it's really no no different than any other addiction, you know? You, uh, it's a drug. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to detach yourself from it. Um, and, um, you know what I mean? Do what you have to do to avoid it or limit your cons your consumption of, of it. You know, if you wanna if you wanna be healthy, if you wanna get results, um, if you wanna limit your chance of getting sick and other diseases and stuff like that, then that's just what you have to do. You, know, you gotta sacrifice to do it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to work on that now. They want uh, a and I, this is a true story. <laughs> One of my clients, I'm not saying who, because <laughs> I bust them all the time. I mean, seriously, I busted people at Starbucks getting muffins and frappes, and oh, I'm staying on the plan, you know. Then one time I was driving out of the gym and I went to take a right onto my street. <laughs> I start turning in the corner, and luckily, there wasn't much traffic. One of my clients was coming this way, waiting for the light, and all of a sudden I see this, and you can see the wrapper. <laughs> and I stopped, dead stop, and I looked at him, I rolled down the window, and all of a sudden he looks over, he's like, 
And he goes, no, 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 you didn't see that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I love busting clients. It's, it's hysterical. <laughs> People that you've known that are diabetic, what has happened to them? People that you've known that have had heart conditions, you know, all kinds of vascular conditions, um, any kind of liver problems, kidney problems, you know, especially the diabetics of what they happen have happened to them. Most of them die young, you know, 45 to 65 years old. Not only dying young, but you know, horrid, horrid, just the last you know, five, ten years of their lives in and out, surgeries, strokes, cancer, amputation. Blind, you don't want that. Yes, amputation, blindness. A lot of people have to get their eye drained because of it. All, yeah. all kinds of, uh, I say, crazy things, you know. Like we're, uh, it's like we're li literally. Eating ourselves to death. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear that's what they want, you know. Yeah. They, yeah. they put it in the processed food, 10 to 1, getting sugar in it. Like I said, I'll put the list down below. And this is just the basic names that you'll see on lists, but there's other sugar. There's like some 50 plus names for sugar. They're coming up with stuff all the time. People start complaining about high fructose corn syrup and understanding what it does to your body. So they keep changing the names so that you don't know what the names are. But if you okay. if you if you pick up a package and you look at it and you see anything with OSC at the end, just put it back. It's just salt sugar. And usually the sugar is like one of the first five ingredients. Yeah. I basically always see a uh, corn syrup in almost everything. It's so bad. Yeah. All right, we have another question. Glenwood again. He asked, um, is there any substitute to chewing gum? <laughs> you know, not really. I mean, it, it, it's, it's <laughs> I, I know where you're going with this, you know, and it, it is hard because chewing gum is like, that's another habit. Um, I have my clients actually chew on chips. If they gotta chew on something, like even if they're start trying to start smoking also, I tell them here, here's some cinnamon sticks, put it in your mouth. If you wanna chew on something, chew on something that's gonna do something for you. Some cinnamon actually help you out. But um, yeah, gum is just full of chemicals and it's either sugar or artificial sweetener. And you know, Neither one of them is good for you, and you know, it's, I can believe uh, the sugar will be like two carbs. Per we have to put that in your carb count. You stay below 20 carbs, and you're chewing two, three, six a day. There's six carbs you just blew. They ate something. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Any more questions? Nuts, berries, and fruits. Um, and nuts, nuts are okay. Uh, berries and fruits. Uh, it still has sugar in it, but modifications. Um, I'm pretty sure Wendy said berries are better than. Um, oh, are you referring to that in place of chewing gum? Nuts, berries, or fruit in the place of chewing gum. Yeah, That's that could a whole be a. Subject. <laughs> what'd you say? That's a whole nother subject. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I guess that's better than uh, chewing gum. But uh, if, if Wendy wants to expand on that, she could. Well, I guess you got to figure out why you're chewing gum. I mean, are you chewing it because it's something that, you know, the actual chewing is like a habit? Or are you chewing yeah. it for like fresh breath? Because yeah. if you're chewing it for a fresh breath, there's all kinds of things you can do. But if it's a habit thing... You know, just eating nuts and berries, now all of a sudden you're consuming way too many fats with the nuts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. If it's a habit, get a cinnamon stick. I'm telling you, stick it in your mouth, you chew on it, you get little things in your teeth sometimes. But <laughs> but, but it does. I mean, cinnamon is good for your body. So, yeah, it is. 
Yeah, so I mean, at least it's doing something good for you. The chewing habit, you can wean yourself off the, the cinnamon sticks versus chewing gum. And if you're trying to get down to a certain weight and you're actually counting, you know, your macros, you're, you're two, two is two grams of carbs per stick. So, you know, I see people put two and three sticks in their mouth at a time. And if they do that a couple times a day, they just blew their carb count. Yeah. Yeah, man. And um, you want to save those carbs. Man. You want to save as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> carbs are precious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, you know, people talk about getting off sugar. Boy, carbs are like, ah. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> um, any more questions? All right. So again, me and Wendy are doing a seven-day challenge. If you're interested in a seven-day challenge, put info in the comment in the comment box, and we'll reach out to you. Doing the seven-day challenge, you'll be getting a meal plan. Um, you'll get three Zoom calls with me and Wendy. Uh, we'll just be going over basic stuff on eating clean and living a healthy lifestyle so you can jump jump start your fat loss process so also if you uh if you found value in this video please like and share and like and share again <laughs> um and thanks for watching uh do you have anything else wendy no that's it just jump in on the group it's gonna be awesome guys it really is you'll love it it's gonna get you off of the the sugars and you know, lose some weight. Yes. Yeah. So, jump into the group if you're uh, trying to um, have a jump start on your fat loss. Um, start uh, learning how to eat clean, be healthier. Comment info below, and we will contact you and let you know when we're going to start. Thanks for uh, jumping on, Wendy. I appreciate it. No, thank um, you. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll probably do another uh, live towards the end of the week. If that's Sounds cool with good. you. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.